it may seem like the year 2020 is filled with unprecedented catastrophes. Locust attacks are not new. The only reason many on the internet seem to be surprised by the recent locust swarms is that they have come to India in this proportion after 27 years. Locust attacks have been mentioned in almost all ancient texts, right from wall paintings on ancient Egyptian pyramids to the Bible and Quran. Ancient Greeks talked about locust attacks and so did Sanskrit poems dating back to 747 BC. The problem that troubled pharaohs, King Ashoka and King Solomon is still a menace in today's age. Within recorded history, India has witnessed several locust plagues and upsurges since 1812. Locusts and grasshoppers both belong to the family Acrididae in the Orthoptera order. Orthoptera order includes crickets and longhorn grasshoppers. Insects of Orthoptera order can be identified by their large hind legs which enables them to jump. The main difference between locusts and grasshoppers is that locusts react to high densities. Serotonin is a chemical that has a wide variety of functions in the human body. It is sometimes called a happy chemical because it contributes to well-being and happiness. This same hormone is released when locusts come in contact with other locusts in groups. This leads to its changing into the gregarious phase. It is striking to see that the behavior, morphology, appearance, physiology, habits and ecology of locusts change progressively over several generations, a shift known as phase change when they are subjected to crowded conditions. When phase change occurs from a solitary to a gregarious phase, locusts do not behave as an individual, but form dense bands of hoppers and swarms of adults and their behavior changes accordingly. In solitary phase, that is in low numbers and densities, locusts behave as individuals, much like grasshoppers. In the gregarious phase, they form dense and highly mobile bands of hoppers and flying swarms of adults which behave as an entity. This gregarious behavior is reinforced by a synchronization of the biological events such as mating, egg laying, hatching, fledging. Thus, eggs hatch at the same moment from dense egg beds and the newly appeared hoppers form immediately primary bands. After fledging, the immature adults will form swarms. Some modifications in morphology, which come together with phase change, provide locusts with a better capacity to fly over long distances, such as a better ratio between wing surface and body weight. There can be other changes in shape, such as the pronotum, for instance, that is the general body pattern. In the solitary phase, locusts exhibit sexual dimorphism with females being larger in size than males. The differences in size between the sexes become less pronounced and may sometimes disappear in the gregarious phase. Generally, gregarious females lay fewer eggs than the solitary ones, but these eggs are bigger and more resistant. Gregarious locusts are able to change their ecological and food habits and therefore they can settle and breed in a wide range of habitats. Therefore, gregarious populations have wider distribution than the solitary populations. The desert locusts are present in 30 countries, that is in about 16 million square hectares in recession periods and are capable of infesting about 60 countries that is 29 million square hectares in the plagues. The green area is recession period distribution and the yellow area is the plague distribution during the gregarious period. These are the species of locusts in the world. Out of these, 
there are four major species of locust found in India, which are desert locust, migratory locust, Bombay locust, and the tree locust. These are important even in the intercontinental context. According to the FAO, there are 40 to 80 million locusts in a swarm that spreads over one square kilometer. These many locusts can ravage crops equivalent to the feeding of nearly 35,000 people in a day. The locust lifespan is three to five months. They become hoppers after a month of hatching and can start laying eggs when they are 60 to 70 days old. A single female desert locust lays 60 to 80 eggs thrice during its roughly 90 day life cycle. India has only one breeding season of summer and this has largely helped in the containment of the problem of the 2020 plague. Otherwise, locusts have three breeding seasons that is winter, spring and summer. In India, the scheme Locust Control and Research is responsible for control of desert locust and is being implemented through organization known as Locust Warning Organization established in 1939. Later on, it was amalgamated with the Directorate of Plant Protection, Quarantine and Storage in 1946. Locust Warning Organization is responsible to monitor and control the locust situation in the scheduled desert area, mainly in the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat. While partly in the states of Punjab and Haryana, by the way of intensive survey, surveillance, monitoring and control operations were required. Small scale localized locust breeding have been reported and controlled during the years 1998, 2002, 2007 and 2010. Since 2010 till 2012-13, the situation remained calm and no large-scale breeding and swarms were reported. However, solitary phase of desert locust has been reported from time to time at some locations in the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat. The locust plague has a cycle. There is a period of more than two consecutive years of widespread breeding, swarm production and thereby damaging of crops and this is called the plague period. The plague period is followed by a period of one to eight years of very little locust activity called as the recession period again to be followed by another spell of plague. India witnessed several locust plague and locust upsurges and incursions during last two centuries as indicated in the slide. In our country, in spite of taking control measures, damage to crops caused by locusts during 1968 and 1993. As per the Union Agriculture Ministry data, locust damaged crops worth rupees 10 crores during the 1926-31 plague cycle. During the 1940-46 and 1949-55 plague cycles, the damage was estimated at 2 crore rupees per cycle and at rupees 50 lakh during the last locust plague cycle, which was in 1959-62. The government does not consider locust upsurges during 78 and 93 and several in-betweens as major outbreaks. But as per the government records, 190 locust swarms had attacked an area of at least 3,10 hectares in Jaisalmer, Barmer, Bhuj and Jalore districts of Rajasthan in 1993. Large areas in these districts again had to be treated with chemicals to get rid of locust swarms in 1997 and 2005. The scheduled desert locust invasion area spans over mainly Rajasthan, parts of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Haryana and New Delhi. Desert locusts may be considered to be natives of Saudi Arabia or the Arabian Peninsula. Following the monsoon winds, they arrive in India, that is in Rajasthan and Gujarat particularly, each year. During a normal year, an average of 10 locust attacks or swarms are seen in India. However, something changed over the past two years. Saudi Arabia had oddly too much rain in 2018 because of two cyclones, Mekunu in May and Luban in October.
The Arabian Peninsula developed lakes and deserts like Rub al Khali, literally meaning the empty quarters, in one among the driest and most uninhabited regions in the world. This happened for the first time in 20 years. Experts say that the two cyclones in a year was due to global climate change. Climate change is the reason that Arabian Sea has been having three cyclones a year in recent times compared to one in every five years before this. Cyclones did two things to cause the locust phenomenon, what experts are now calling a global swarming. The desert locusts got favorable conditions for food and reproduction in their own backyard. Their numbers increased catastrophically. The region couldn't support such a population of locusts in 2018-19. Secondly, cyclones altered pattern of winds temporarily. The swarms of locusts, unable to remain within the deserts, moved southward to Yemen and entered Africa, creating a famine-like situation. The locust swarm impacted almost the whole eastern Africa and parts of North Africa. Northward swarms crossed the Red Sea over to Iran and Pakistan. They were helped by abnormally heavy rains along the Red Sea coasts. When the swarm hit India, it too had a rather abnormal monsoon onset. Western Rajasthan got monsoon about six weeks earlier than normal. Because monsoon brought greenery, locusts crossed the borders and attacked fields in India. Under normal weather conditions, the locust swarms come to India in July, breed for one season and leave for Pakistan, Iran in October. But the early monsoon brought them earlier, then monsoon had an extended spell in Rajasthan last year till late November. This means for a 90-day lifespan, the locusts got to breed in India three times in June, September and December when moisture was still there. This also meant they were 16,000 times in number than the normal. The desert locust rests in Iranian region during the winters before following the moist winds over to the Arabian Peninsula or a more favorable region. Iran-Pakistan region received too much rain in January this year. In fact, Southeast Iran got its annual average of rain in the first week of January itself this year. This drew swarms from the deserts to Iran-Pakistan region. In Rajasthan, heat waves were not building. In fact, it received rainfall due to the western disturbances, the cyclones originating in the Mediterranean. This explains why desert locusts have come to India early again. The exponential population growth last year has just aggravated the problems for farmers, the governments, and threatens food situation in the country. Desert locusts travel and eat only during daytime. This implies that they're easy to prey during nights. The Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has laid out a standard procedure to cope with locust menace. Sandy areas that have green vegetation are to be monitored constantly to check if locusts are present. Desert areas receiving rainfall are to be surveyed for live locusts or their eggs. Recommended pesticides are to be applied as suggested to stop their breeding. Areas where farmers have recently reported sighting of locusts are to be surveyed and sanitized. Special attention is to be paid in areas where day temperature ranges between 20 degrees Celsius and 38 degrees Celsius because if these areas have moisture or receive rain, the desert locusts are likely to swarm in. Plagued by an economic slowdown and COVID-19 lockdown, the Indian economy is already on the sting. While experts hope that things will improve after a vaccine for the novel coronavirus comes into the market, an agrarian crisis because of locust attack will throw the government's plans off balance. If the locust attack is not effectively controlled, more relief packages will need to be announced and extra money will have to be taken out of the state coffers, less revenue is going to be generated and food inflation will skyrocket as supply will fall below demand.